why is it that most weight control programs always fail and you gain back all the weight that you had lost? Well, hunger, of course. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bring hunger under control. With a simple test, I'm going to show you how you too can change your life permanently, starting today. This is Juan Sarmiento. 10 years ago, I was in my 50s and I was obese. I was a regular couch potato. I was eating three times a day and like most baby boomers, I was on a low-fat, high-carb diet consisting primarily of starches like bread, potatoes, rice, and pasta. I often raided the pantry at least once a day especially in the evenings during the commercials on TV. Then I started my OMAD regimen, or one meal a day. I started on the regimen cold turkey, which means I had no adaptation periods. I ate one meal a day for 21 days in a row. This is how I made the metabolic switch. Flipping the switch means that I went from a carbohydrate-based metabolism, depending on my food intake, to a lipid-based metabolism on which I could make use of my own body fat for energy. Then I adapted to it. I ate one meal a day, day in and day out, non-stop for five years until age 57. Uncontrollable hunger became a thing of the past for me. I know what you're thinking. Fasting brings to mind images of Jesus in the desert, 40 days and 40 nights without any food. You're thinking, I can't possibly stop eating two of my meals and snacks altogether. You have gone through calorie restrictive diets and all you can remember is how hard they were. They were simply unsustainable and when you stop them, you gain all the weight back. I assure you, OMAD is not like either one of those two situations. In the OMAD regimen, you could eat whatever you want and eat to satiety in that one single meal. Once adapted, you too will think of hunger as a thing of the past. Better yet, once you are adapted to OMAD, you will feel like you have more energy than ever before. My purpose in this video is to show you with a simple test that OMAD is not nearly as hard as you think. In fact, you should have more energy than ever before, and progressively you will find fitness and health, and even feel young again. Your motivation for doing it should be a life of fitness and health without hunger or fear of exercise. You should believe me because I too hated exercise and could not control my hunger. Yet, I changed my life starting 10 years ago, at age 53. I am now 63, I just had my birthday last week, and I am still slim, fit, and energetic like never before. This test is to be done over two days. First, day one, wake up and have your breakfast as you normally do. Eat what you'd normally eat on a Saturday morning. Pancakes, waffles, orange juice, cereal, oatmeal, muffins. Again, do it as you normally would. Wait for your digestion to be completed and then go for a walk or do your normal workouts as you would normally. Make a note of how long it took you, how many miles did you do, how many reps did you do. Next, wait until you're hungry before eating anything. I mean really hungry. Make a note of the time and give yourself a score from 1 to 10 of how hungry you feel. 1 being you could have a bite and 10 you could eat a horse. Then, and this is critical, before eating anything, wait 30 minutes more. This might seem hard, but you will be surprised. Once again, record your score from 1 to 10. This score might be more or less than the first score. 
After your second meal, wait for your digestion and go for another walk or do another workout. As much as you can or feel like, we are not looking to bust our ass here. We just want a baseline of what we can do after a meal. On day two, after waking up and without any breakfast, we do our workout or walking routine. Here again, record how long did you work out or walked and how many reps or miles did you do. Do your best, but keep in mind that this is just a baseline. We are not expected to hit a new record here. Also, write down how you felt during the workout. Did you feel like your energy was lower or higher than the first day? Once again, wait until you're hungry, ready to have your next meal. It could be breakfast or it could be lunch. Record the time when you feel like it's time to eat and then score your hunger again from 1 to 10. However, instead of eating, wait 30 more minutes. Trust me, it will work. 30 minutes later, record your score from 1 to 10. It could be more or it could be less than your previous three scores. Then, eat to satiety. Repeat what you did on the day before, which is wait for digestion and go for another walk or do another workout until you feel you have done your best. Remember, this is just a baseline. Here are the results of the test. On the first day, Exercising after your first meal will give you the baseline of what you're capable of doing in your current physical condition. This baseline will help you evaluate your progress in the weeks and months to come. Your goal from now on should be to exceed this baseline in endurance and intensity. Naturally, your performance after eating will not be good, but you will notice that it is not because of your lack of trying. Your body simply is not up to it. We all feel sluggish after eating while we are under the influence of this energy storage hormone named insulin. Eating several meals a day will keep us under the influence of insulin all day long. On the second day, you should see an increase in your workout performance. Your body should tap into your body fat for energy during fasting. Your body fat will provide a more efficient form of energy for your workouts. It is the dependence on glucose for energy that will make us hungry and weak because the storage of glucose as glycogen is quite limited and easily exhausted. The second workout in both days will be very difficult because your insulin levels are going to be very high. This should convince you of the effects of insulin in your energy levels. You will notice that holding your meal for another 30 minutes after you were ready to eat on the first day will not increase your hunger. In fact, it may reduce it. Hunger does not increase with the duration of your fasting. Hunger comes and goes in waves at the time of your regular meals. Then it goes away until the next meal. This is because of the hormone ghrelin, whose effect is not cumulative, but transitory. With OMAD, you will get ghrelin and insulin under control. Instead of being secreted several times in the day, these hormones will be secreted only once. Over the years, I thought that exercise was getting more and more difficult and that I was losing my flexibility and endurance. Little did I know that it was my eating habits and that OMAD would help me get fit again. The explanation for the effects of OMAD are all in the science. First, ghrelin, the hunger hormone. Ghrelin spikes within 30 minutes before the time we normally have our daily meals breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Interestingly, ghrelin seems to spike also at night when we are fast asleep. Obviously, if we are asleep, we don't have the urge to eat, although some might snack before bedtime. Within 21 days of continuous OMAD, you should end up with a single spike of ghrelin a day. That is, if you eat that single meal consistently at the same time, 
every day for 21 days. The rest of the day and night you will feel no hunger. That is my experience and it should be yours. Hunger should be a thing of the past for you too. Insulin is the energy storage hormone. It is secreted after a meal and moves glucose into the cells. It promotes the storage of energy in the form of fat for later use. If we eat three meals a day, insulin spikes three times. At breakfast, at lunch, and dinner. Insulin could even spike more if we eat one or two snacks on top. Ironically, when we are asleep, insulin levels come down to a minimum. This is when glucagon and growth hormone become activated. We begin to use our own body fat for energy through the reduction in daily levels of insulin and the activation of glucagon. With lower insulin levels, our growth hormone begins to climb and that has an impact in our bodies eventually leading to a lean, muscular body at any age. Remember this, anyone at any age can change their lives by improving their health and fitness through intermittent fasting in general or on that in particular. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Juan Sarmiento reminding you that life is looking up. Thank you. Thank you for joining me in this video and may I ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the appropriate button below. Once you have done so, also click on the bell so you are notified of all future videos coming up on this channel. In addition, if you enjoyed the video and find it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Help me spread the good news about OMAD by sharing this video with your family and friends. Thank you.